Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how you can use the Snowpark library and Python together so you're able to capture the data table from Snowflake and then convert that into a pandas data frame. So I'm gonna be also showing you that as well at the end of this video. If you're someone who does not have a Snowflake environment, it's really simple to set one up. You just need to search in Google Snowflake trial and click the first link that you see, fill out this little form, and you will get the Snowflake environment information sent to your email address from Snowflake. So once you have your Snowflake trial environment stood up, the next thing you wanna do is create a database and create a data table under that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select data, and then select the plus button to do database, and then name this YouTube, and select create. Automatically, you should have two schemas there. We are going to create our data table under public. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and select the worksheet options, and then select the plus button to create a SQL worksheet. And then what I'm going to do is make sure I select the correct database and correct schema. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste SQL code so I can create a table and insert values to it. While this is running, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the third tab, Python plus Snowpark tutorial. And here you wanna go ahead and type in pip install snowflake-snowpark-python and then do a shift enter. You do need to make sure you are working in a version that is 3.8. Unfortunately for my Anaconda, it looks like I'm in version 3.11. Because I'm using Anaconda, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new environment here, YouTube, and then make sure I select 3.8.17 and then select Create. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit Launch, which is gonna open up a new tab. I'm gonna go to Desktop and open up my file and then try doing this installation again and see if I get same error message. All right, once we have installed that, the next thing we are going to do is set up a connection. So to do that, we will do from snowflake.snowpark and import session. And then we are going to create a connection. Here we would have to give an account, a user, a password, a warehouse, a database, and that's it. So the first thing we need to find is our account. To do that, we need to go to our Snowflake, and then you wanna select the worksheet, and here you wanna scroll down until you see some gibberish number. You wanna select that, and then hover over it to then get this option to copy account URL. So let's go ahead and do that, and then go to our third tab to fill that in. You wanna go ahead and remove .snowflakecomputing.com and you can also remove the HTTPS stuff as well. The next thing we need to give it is a username and password. Because I created this environment for this YouTube tutorial, I just have my password as YouTube one. And the warehouse. So if we go back to our worksheet here, you can see we are using a warehouse called compute underscore WS. So we need to just make sure we put that in. And then for the database, we called our database YouTube. Once that's done, we are going to write new session equal to session dot builder dot configs connection dot create and do a shift enter here and then we are going to do new session dot sql and then we are going to write our select statement capture the data from country so let's go ahead and do shift enter to see what we get so we are getting a response back saying snowpark dot data frame to see what the snowpark dot data frame has we're just going to do a dot show at the end and do a shift enter and that's going to give you the data within the data table. Now you're probably wondering, this doesn't really look like a pandas data frame. So how can I actually convert this snowflake data frame to a pandas data frame? To do this, what you wanna do is another pip install in py arrow equal to 10.0.1 and do a shift enter. It's gonna take some time to install that. So it is asking us to restart our kernel. So we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my desktop or wherever you have this file saved, select the checkbox and do a shutdown and open it up again. You already know we have our Snowflake, Snowpark Python there, so we're just gonna go ahead and do shift under here, shift under here. We have our Snowflake data frame, now let's convert it to pandas. So to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and type in two pandas, open and close parentheses and do a shift enter, and that should do the trick. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, bye.